Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Okay, I had tried to make a long video including all these characters, uh, A. Weiselberg, Vanka, Donnie J, and uh, Mama of Mr. 45, but uh, for some reason I can't upload it. I've tried like five times, it won't take, so I'm going to do them all separate, so that's a bunch of separate videos, and this is the first one, Alan W. You know who I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to use this Visconti Tarot. It's uh, gilded and uh, very interesting. I used this uh, deck a few days ago, but it wasn't this deck. It was a large version that's not gilded, gilded rather, uh, of these uh, same depictions. Um, <clears throat> that one's a little difficult to use because um, the, uh, the symbols can be kind of cryptic on this deck, uh, except in this uh, version of it, that's the, the other version is hard to use because the, uh, there's no description of what you're supposed to say with the cards. This is a little easier because it has some hints on the side here. So we're gonna go with this one. I'm gonna show it to you quickly. I'm trying to knock out four videos in one day here on uh, this uh, crime family, actually. So we'll see how this works. This may be a little rushed, but, you know, hang in there. You're still getting the same information. That's how the deck looks. Um, for those of you who don't get to see lots of tarot decks uh, all the time, and it's a good way to mix up the cards uh, for me. So it's not a, a wasted uh, effort. Uh, and um, hopefully that's uh, interesting to you. I hope it is. So there we go. Um, yeah, Alan Weiselberg. It looks like they're, they're pressuring down on him, trying to find out uh, what all was paid by the Trump Organization in this man and his family's favor in lieu of salaries. They look like gifts, but we know that, uh, listen, uh, that organization doesn't give anything away, nothing away. I would be surprised if you get a stick of gum uh, on your desk uh, as a little incentive for work well done in that family. So we're gonna take six cards right off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and see what's up for Alan. Signifier for this pull then is going to be uh, the King of Pentacles. <coughs> King of Pentacles, that's Alan. He's the man in charge of the money. He's the, he's the uh, fella who's controlling all the uh, uh, wealth that's coming in and out of that organization. Um, it's his signature first, and then we know whose signature comes next. It's either the big guy or the big guy's uh, junior uh, son, uh, uh, Donnie. So, uh, signifier card, perfect, perfect, perfect uh, to represent uh, Mr. A.W. Challenge to that, then, is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is remembering, uh, harkening back to another time when maybe things were simpler, uh, maybe when he was working with his uh, DT's uh, father, Freddie. So uh, his challenge is wishing things had been a little easier to do. I'm going to guess that DT was uh, uh, more uh, vicious uh, than his father, if that's even possible. The basis of this reading, then, is the devil. You know, does any more need to be said? It was all fraught with ill intentions. The uh, past of this reading is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is, you know, worrying over something that was lost, uh, uh, crying over spilt milk. Um, the sky in this reading, then, is the Ace of Cups, a great big offering of something. And I wonder if this is his offering of cooperation with the Feds. And the uh, likely outcome for this first part of this reading is the Eight of Swords. And, you know, that's feeling completely trapped, completely uh, hemmed in, and not seeing a way out of your predicament. But we're going to see who is the self, self, self of Mr. A.W. right now. And that is the Three of Swords broken heart. Disappointment, dismay, really heartache. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the King of Wands. And uh, the King of Wands is action and movement and motion and power. And this has to be the uh, prosecuting forces. Uh, that's the environment that this broken heart is in. And then the hopes and the fears for this then whoo, is the Emperor. And I think the hopes and the fears is having to give up the Emperor. That would be his hope to save himself and his fear for the potential backlash that that emperor might uh, bestow on him 
which he doesn't may not realize now this emperor has no clothes and then the uh, final uh, outcome for this whole thing whoo, is the ace of swords a great big dose of justice a great big dose of justice and that's what we got in a quickie read for mr alan weiserberg uh what's going on in his brain right now as the feds close in man i can't believe how this thing came out it started out with alan weiserberg the signifier as the king of coin who else would he be but the king of coin uh he uh, then uh, the whole thing was underpinned by the devil that was the um uh, basis of the reading uh, devilish uh, tricks this looks right to me um, then in the self of uh, Weiselberg, we had a three of swords that's a broken heart, but lots of disappointment there. And he's in the environment of who? He's in the environment of the king of wands, the king of motion, power, action, planning. That's the prosecutors. Um, the hopes and the fears, guess what? It's the emperor. And I think he fears giving up the emperor to the prosecutors. And then the final outcome for the whole kitten caboodle is a great big ace of justice. Well, my name is Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. Thank you very, very much for uh, stopping by. And you can either stop by tomorrow or hang on right now because I think I'm going to do two videos for today. And uh, we'll see how that pans out. Ciao for now.